Yo, what's poppin'? It's the Hyphenate, and welcome to my music studio. I started off with cheap, crappy equipment. I was broke as hell, building piece by piece of my music studio. First started with a cheap microphone on a box with cables hanging on, no good quality earphones, mic preamp, none of that stuff. And little by little, now I'm finally at my dream music studio. So I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of it, go over all the gear and break down kind of a little bit about how I use it to create music for recording, mixing, etc. I do have acoustic paneling all around made by RLX. So this definitely helps with the sound from mixing to recording, definitely deadens the sound, makes it sound very clean. I do have a recliner here where I do most of my work from, but if I'm actually making beats, then I bring in a rolling chair and I set up here to make the beats. But if I'm doing any post work, video editing, photo editing, mixing, mastering, etc., I'm back here and I do have my main speakers positioned for me to mix from here. All right, now before we go over all the gear, this desk here is one that I got at Ikea before I even started making music. I got this probably 2006, maybe 2007. Once I started making music, it was the perfect desk. It's modular so I can move things around, I can add things to it. This thing is sick. So here you can see that I have three different sets of audio monitors or speakers. I have these 15 inch live sound monitors made by Harbinger. I have these eight inch Yamaha HS8s. And then I do have my first ever set of audio monitors, these small M audio. I don't really use them for professional use anymore, but I have them here for one of my older computers. Now for my video monitor, this is actually a gaming monitor. It's made by Asus, it's the Asus ROG Strix 43 inch. And at the time I got this last year, it was the only 40 plus inch screen that was HDMI 2.1. So I really got that. So not only can I use that with my computers at HDMI 2.1, but also my PS5. So it's a pretty good size screen, especially since I like being on a recliner and it does have accurate colors and a high refresh rate. For the lighting that I have here, I do have these kind of club or event venue lights. They can change to different colors, but I have them normally set to purple and those are in the back facing upwards. So they kind of give this nice little pattern on the foam on the corners here. They give a little pop without it being distraction or being in anyone's eyes. And then I do have this awesome sign here. This is a dope LED beveled display light that was actually created by Tony Pham. And it was given to me as a gift from Marty Maurice from Tesla Club SoCal. So still one of the my favorite things that I own in my studio. I think it just looks so dope. And that can change to any color also and even react to music. So when I'm making beats, I have that kind of just getting me hyped up. Now here, these two tube lights on the sides are made by Nanlite. They're the Pavel Tube 2 X lights, the two foot versions, and I do have magnets on them, so they just mount here. These can change to any color. I can control them on an app. My personal DAW of choice is Cubase Pro. I use this both for tracking, recording, and for mixing and making beats as well. So this is my go-to, and I do have the Native Instruments Complete Control S49 Mark II MIDI keyboard. Hands down, I think the dopest MIDI keyboard on the market. Now my go-to mouse and keyboard are made by Logitech. These are the MX version, the MX keys, MX Anywhere 3 mouse. They are wireless. I have them hooked up together and I do have them set up to be able to control multiple computers. So they have three different computers that they can be synced to. I have them set to my main computer, which is down here, an MSI computer, as well as an older computer that I have here, which is actually a hybrid, I have one hard drive set to a Windows operating system and the other hard drive set to Mac. So it's actually a Hackintosh that was actually built by one of my professors at the LA Film School, LA Recording School, when I went there for audio engineering. So I still have some stuff there that I do. Very rarely do I create new music on there. It's mostly just kind of getting old files or if I have some beats that I started that I never finished and I kind of want to work on them, I get the files from there. So do have this to be able to control both of those and I do have them both hooked up to this same monitor so I'm just able to switch between the inputs. Now like I mentioned earlier I do have three different sets of monitors. These 15 inch Harbinger monitors are actually made more for live sound for live performances. So I actually do my live performance rehearsals in this room and I actually have these monitors hooked up to the Behringer mixer that I have here. X1204 this can also be an audio interface if you wanted to, but I really just have this for live PA sound. And I do have four XLR inputs here, so I just connect my XLR handheld mics here and 
perform in here. And now that brings us to my favorite audio interface that I've ever owned. This is the Audient ID44 Mark II. This thing is a beast. Incredibly clean sounding interface and mic prees with inserts and sends built into the first two inputs. So I actually have my Clark Technic 76 compressor, which emulates the Universal Audio 1176 compressor, one of the most iconic compressors. And it makes my sound not only sound a lot better, gives it some character, but also has a great smooth compressor on it. So when it comes to recording vocals, I actually move this recliner out the way. I do have little sliders underneath, so I can easily just push this out the way here. And then I just go ahead and bring my mic stand with a boom arm. And I do have this reflection filter here. And then here I have my main microphone. It's a beautiful, beautiful mic, the AEA KU5A. I've actually done a review on this. It sounds incredible for not only vocals, instruments, but pretty much anything that you want to use with it. It's warm, it's smooth, it's a dark microphone, and it is a ribbon mic. And as you can see, this is a horizontal microphone. So I do have the boom arm here with a little ball head, a quick release. So whenever I wanna put it away, I could just take it off easily or just put it back without having to do any screwing or unscrewing. Now, when it comes to my preferred headphones for in-studio use, I use the Audio-Technica MTH M40X. These things are comfortable. They work great not only for recording and be able to monitor, but also if you are in need of mixing with headphones, they have a very flat frequency response, very smooth and natural sound. Now, when it comes to my main computer in this studio, I use an MSI Trident with an RTX 3070 graphics card, 64 gigabytes of RAM, and I do have various SSDs in there, one SSD for video and photo editing, another one for music creation, etc. Now, my main audio monitors for any of my video or audio production work are these Yamaha HS8 monitors. They are incredible very low noise, and they sound extremely clear. I do have these isolation pads here underneath these so that there's no rumble, there's no shaking or anything like that. This really does isolate vibrations and it keeps everything sounding really tight and clean in here. Now the stands that I have them on are actually made by Argosy and they make incredible monitor stands. They're not just some basic stand for any type of furniture. They're actually made for audio monitors. So they're very durable, they hold up very well and they really minimize vibration. So as you can see, this is really how comfortable it is to be in here. I love this chair. I actually got this, I think from Bob's Furniture. Very comfortable, very deep pockets in here. I got the two cup holders, reclines, got lumbar support. The headrest can change as well. So I have three different options here. It has a USB port and the audio monitors that I have actually point in the proper triangle position so I can properly hear when I'm mixing or video editing or if I'm playing PlayStation. I could either play, work, whatever I want, or even take a nap. I can go like super reclined. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are interested to know more about some of this gear, I have a lot of videos on my tech channel, Doubt Me Tech where you can watch reviews, tutorials about pretty much everything in here. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys check that out. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe, comment below, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.